everybody so <laughs> I got the iPhone 6 I am so so happy because I needed to upgrade it from my iPhone 4s I mean come on look at that I need to upgrade it so I'm going to start off with the backstory. I originally didn't want to get the iPhone 6. I mean, I didn't even really think about it. I was just planning on getting the iPhone 5. But when they released it on the 19th of September and people started posting it on Facebook and whatever, I was just like, I think I need that phone. So um, I didn't line up for the phone or anything. What I did was on the day after and on the Sunday night, I tried reserving a phone, but both times I was unlucky, but on the Monday morning, I went to go in stores and asked if they had any stock, and they said they didn't. They were going to get stock in that day, but didn't know when and all throughout the week, and so I was like, okay then. So about an hour later, I was on my way to uni, and I was just about to get on the bus, and I was like, you know what, I'll just check the reservation page, see if they have anything left, and they did. I was so so lucky they had the 64 and the 124 left the 16 was sold out and I was lucky enough to be able to purchase one of the 64 gigs and then I picked it up later that afternoon so here it is it's just I got the gold iPhone 6 I didn't bother getting the 6 plus because I just don't need it because I already have an iPad so I just bought this one and it's in the 64 gigs and it was like a grand so I didn't bother I'm going to 124 and this should be enough because I'm planning on vlogging this phone because the camera quality is really really good and the iPhone 6 it has a lot of new features such as the home button is now on the side you've got the touch ID to open it if it works yeah, you've got the touch ID to open the phone instead of having to always put in your pin. So the design of the phones are significantly different. The iPhone 4 and 5, they have the straight edges and they are fairly thicker. However, with the iPhone 6, it's a lot thinner and it's a rounded side here. It fits perfectly in your hand like this, as well as the power button being right here, just fits perfectly. You've got your two sound buttons here and your silent button up there and it's just the gold with the white trimmings at the top and the bottom. So we're just going to go straight on to what's on my iPhone. So here is the lock screen and this is a picture of me and my boyfriend at my sister's wedding and it is 11.47pm so it is quite late. So the background picture here is just a picture of waffles and strawberries and coffee from Tumblr and it's just really cute and I just really wanted to have it as a background. So first off we just have messages here, you have the FaceTime, the clock and currently it is 11.49pm at night. I am recording this fairly late. Today's date here is the 27th of September and tomorrow on the 28th is actually my birthday so in about 20 in about 10 minutes actually it will be my birthday so that's exciting you have photos here and it's pretty interesting with photos because you have there's this new feature that tells you when the picture was taken which is pretty neat and there's a lot of other features with the photo app which you can look up on and stuff and then you've got camera and I will tell you that the camera is absolutely amazing. It is so, so fine and crisp. Just look at that front camera. Look at that front camera. It is just amazing compared to my iPhone 4, which I will show you. The difference is kind of crazy. Can you see that? It's just wow. So that's... Really cool, I'm really excited with the camera because I'm planning on vlogging, so that's exciting. You have notes, you have reminders, maps, videos, which I don't use, a game center, iTunes store, app store, your settings, calculator, and you have podcasts here, and I listen to Hamish and Andy. I like listening to them when I'm cleaning and stuff, it's just, they're just so funny. And then I have contacts here at the bottom, so they're just my contacts, 
and then at the bottom here you can only have four apps so i have phone mailbox safari and music music i haven't put any music on it aside from you've got those youtube songs there which yeah next page i have your facebook and messenger to go with a facebook i have twitter which i have not yet logged into but you can follow me there if you want to and tumblr which i don't think i have no i haven't logged in but you can again follow me there instagram which i am most active on you can follow me at baby angie and i have youtube which you are probably watching me on right now and this is youtube creator which it's just a really easy app just to look at your uh, comments and views and subscribers and stuff it's just easy to look at there Shazam which some people may or may not know about it's pretty much an app where if you hear a song on a radio and you've pretty much missed the first half of the song so you don't know what it's called you just use this app and it will tell you what the song is so we're gonna play a song and let's see if it works Yes, I'm listening to Ed Sheeran's Thinking Out Loud. I love the song, it's amazing, and that is Shazam. Next, I have eBay because I love eBay, who doesn't? I have Snapchat, which I don't really use Snapchat, I just kind of have it because people send me Snapchats. And then I have Urban Spoon, which I'm not sure if Urban Spoon is a worldwide app or whether it's just an Australian wide app, but it's pretty much if you're stuck on ideas on where to go and have dinner or lunch or you're looking for new places, they have all these restaurants around in your area here and they have reviews on each restaurant and menu so you can see whether or not you want to eat it and how far the restaurant is from your current location. So it's really nice and you can adjust to how much you want to spend and it's just a really good app. I love Urban Spoon. And the next one I have is Alien Blue or Reddit and my favourite subreddits are Today I Fucked Up or Ask Reddit and yeah I just love Reddit especially just reading it before bed it's just something interesting reads and with Reddit I have Reddit pics and it's just the pictures that are uploaded so so yeah it's just Reddit pics and then I have Bankwest which is my bank provider Willy Weather because Apple's weather app is just so inaccurate and it is raining on my birthday which is kind of sad but it happens almost every year. <laughs> After that, I have Burswood, which is an app for outdoor cinemas, which right at the moment they don't have anything because it's not summer yet. But soon, in the next couple of weeks, they should have things up. I then have Pinterest, and I just use Pinterest just to kind of pin ideas of room decor or just a hair inspiration, just things like that. And then here we have three messenger type apps. The first one here is WhatsApp and I believe WhatsApp is the most common here in Australia. The second one is WeChat and I think it is mainly Chinese based but I use WeChat to chat with my parents because it's just a lot easier for them to kind of send voice messages instead of typing so I use that to I guess message my parents and then I use Line which is a Japanese version of these online messaging apps and I only really have Line because two of the games I play require me to have a Line account so that is why I have that and I have Pandora which is just a online radio free music app and Pandora is amazing and these are my playlists for now. I have yet to add more but as of right now that is what we've got. Next app I have is Transit Times which is an app for our public transport here in Perth and just tells you the bus times and train times. Next one is Lost Campus which is a app called Lost on Campus for Perth no, my bad, sorry, for Western Australian universities. And it's pretty much an app where, obviously, if you are lost on campus, 
you just type in the room you're supposed to go to and it will just show up on a map for you so that's really helpful for first year students and here is my last page here we have cello park which is the parking page system we use at university well at least at curtain and then i have uber which is pretty much a taxi service um but apparently a little bit cheaper the only reason why i have uber is because the upcoming uni events they have uber like vouchers to use so that's why i have it and then we have commonwealth bank and I'm not with Commonwealth Bank, but my boyfriend is, and sometimes he uses my phone when his is almost dying, or he doesn't have his phone. And then I have Data Man, and Data Man is pretty much just an app that keeps track of how much 3G you're using. I like having Data Man. It used to be free, but now you have to pay for it. I think it's like $2 something now. Next, I have 92.9, which is a radio station. And then I have M Cycles, which is a monthly cycles for that time of the month for us women. And I just like keeping track of when I get it, just so I know a rough estimate on when the next month should be. And Pages came with the iPhone, which is pretty neat. And then I have Domino's Pizza Offers because I love my pizza and I love cheap food. So that is why I have that. I then have T0, which is just a countdown. App and apparently there's 94 days, 23 hours, 53 minutes and 29 seconds to New Year's Day. I then decided to put these apps into groups just so my phone wouldn't be too cluttered. So first one is photography and in photography I just have these apps which I use for Instagram. First one is a widogram and that is actually the picture I just posted a while ago but watergram is pretty much it is editing but it's I mainly use it because when you upload a photo to Instagram it just crops it to the size of the box whereas if you upload it to watergram and then upload it to Instagram you get the whole picture in it and then I have the SCO cam which is an editing one and they have amazing filters so I really like using it in that app and then InstaWeather Insta weather is pretty much just you take a picture of the weather and then it has the degree of the weather on the picture and it just looks really neat so that's what I have in there next one is games and these are the two line games I'm playing first one is I love coffee which I've been playing for like almost a, I think like a year now and it's been so addictive dream garden I've yet to start but I don't usually play a lot of games so that is why I've only got two Next one is music and I don't know what's called music but there's Keynote, Garage Band and iMovie which all came with the iPhone again. I'm very interested with Garage Band and iMovie because it's so odd because they're on your MacBook but now they're on your iPhone and so I'm interested to see how it's going to work using the iPhone. And the last group I have is Extras which is pretty much just a bunch of useless apps that you cannot delete from your iPhone. First you have Compass. And then you've got tips, which is pretty much just iPhone tips for all the new features in the iPhone 6. And then you've got voice memos, stocks, newsstand, passbook, which I have absolutely no idea what that's for. The weather app, which again I said it was inaccurate. And this health app, which is new to the iPhone. And it's pretty much just a health journal you can write down when you worked out what kind of workouts you did how much you ate that day etc it's just a health journal and then you have numbers itunes university which is an app where you can just download lectures for university or videos to help you with university and you have ibooks which is pretty much just kindle on the iphone you can buy books and you just read your books on your iPhone. So I hope you guys enjoyed the what's on my iPhone 6 video. If you guys have any of your favourite apps or apps that you guys might think would be good for me, leave them down in the comments box below and also subscribe to my channel and I'll see you guys in my next video.